I'm loading up my pickup. I'm heading for the ranch. Got my saddle chaps and bedroll. Been waiting for the chance. Get out of the way. We're going to need a little bit of room. Get his feet straight. Get his head together. Bump, bump, bump. Get you a lot, all right? Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna give, no notice, I'm adding more length here instead of being up close. Two things happens. Number one, I actually have more leverage with more length. I can actually control my mule better with length rather than being close. See how much he was pushing you around? Okay, I'm gonna get him to come over here. Okay, Lonnie, go ahead and move out of the way. Now notice how I'm using my length here. Wiggling it back and forth, cueing the mule to go slow. Bumping it, cueing the mule to go slow. Using the length, using length. Not up close to where he's bumping me and knocking me around. But when you've got one like this, it wants to run over you a lot. Use the leverage on the rope. Here we come back through again. This is a good lesson. The sucker needs this. Nice and slow. He starts to grab his butt. I bump him, bump him, bump him, bump him. Okay, use the leverage. Wiggle the rope. Wiggle the rope. Wiggle the rope. See my hand wiggling the rope. Wiggling the rope. Wiggling the rope. Bump, 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 bump. See how that's going to help your timing? You see how you're up close? How he puts you in harm's way? That's the nice thing about this come along hitch. When you got one that wants to run over top of you and this sort of thing, give it some length to where you can wiggle it or you can slightly bump it. Wiggle it. Right, left is asking. Then I change my hand down. One, two. Asking, telling, now demanding. One, two, three, four, five. But I never go over that three. I'm going to ask. One, two. Then I'm going to tell. One, two. I want him to back up. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. All right, now we go back and we'll ask again. I'm going to ask. One, two. Oh, he likes that asking a lot better. He likes that telling, demanding. So yes, we'll ask him again. We'll ask him. One, two. One, two. See that bridge? It grabs him on the butt and scares him. All right, let's do it again. He needs to get over that. He's had britches on him before, but today we got the come along here. I mean, the uh, martingale hooked up to him, so it pulls a little bit and it gooses him. All right, we're going to try it. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. There we go. Try it again. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. There we go. All right, let's go back. Let's go back out through the gate. Give yourself some link. Give yourself some leverage. Nice and easy. Kind of get your timing built in. Let him listen so that every time you move your hand, every time you move your hand, good, 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 good. Folks, breeding is important. Breed good. Don't breed bad. You breed sorry, you're going to have sorry. Disposition is among everything else, but when it comes to a mind, I don't care what color, but breed to disposition. When you buy, you buy disposition. Notice how I'm wiggling it here. Come through slow. Use the leverage. Use the leverage.
He thinks running through that gate, he's going to get comfortable. He's going to get uncomfortable if I rip his nose off. Good, 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 good. All right. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, you see using the leverage? You can't be up close to these guys, y'all. You've got more leverage right here. These mules, once they get sensitive, <laughs> and his nose is starting to get pretty sensitive now, they get better response. I cannot reinforce enough to you all. We've been working on this mule for a couple weeks now. And because of this sorry mind up here, we, we sometimes get behind on him. But this come along hitch and this mule rider's martingale, this gives us that good communication that we don't have to worry about being dragged around. Far better than a chain because it communicates to the upper part of the nose, lower part, and the pole. <laughs>